This is part three. I'm going to show you how to put the drywall on and plaster it or put the joint compound on. Everything's nice and dry. This has been after, I'm guessing, at least three days of running the fan off and on. And everything looks good, including the insulation that's nice and dry. I'm just going to reuse the insulation. No mold or anything on it, like you could see. Cut a piece of drywall, and I have a one by here. And actually, there was, there was a place by my house that used to give away free crates. I used to go pick those up and take them apart. And uh, some of them I used for firewood, and others I would use. And they really came in handy over the years for scrap pieces of wood. And then, of course, attach it to the 2x4. And this is going to provide us with the nailing or the screwing so that we can attach the drywall to it. Um, some people might want to cut half on the joist. Um, knock yourself out to get your backing there. Put the insulation back in. Drywall and then screws for uh, building code. I would imagine I think it's uh, seven inches on the ceiling and I don't I doubt if these are seven inches, but it is fine how I have it here. Maybe one other screw there would have been good. I'm seven inches on center, I was saying, for a ceiling, I'm pretty sure. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Any drywallers out there? And then I use some all-purpose joint compound, screw gun. I like a pool trowel. I like to use this. been using it for years for finishing drywall. This is about a four or five inch drywall knife, they call them. I don't know why they call them a knife. Sounds uh, violent. Corner trowel. Um... Paper tape, fiberglass tape. I like paper tape for my corners. Joint compound open. Inch and a quarter screws for half inch drywall. I think it's inch and five eighths screws for five eighths drywall. And here is the plaster for it. And I'm going to go through this. At the end of the video, I'm going to put a link to another video that I made where you can actually see me doing this. It's just, I'm not really... A, now the video quality is not really good. It kind of, I had it on automatic focus. I shouldn't have done that with the camera. And uh, here it is. Uh, and again, I'll put a link to that in the end of the video if you want to watch it. And here's the first layer of plaster. I mean, joint compound. There it is. The fan's on it. You can drying it out. Here's what it looks like after probably about three or four hours. The thicker areas aren't dry yet. Here it is probably the next day. And of course you could get a crack in the areas where it's thick. Just fill the crack back up again with a joint compound. I went ahead and put some plaster on the side here so that I could texture this area and get rid of the wrinkly uh, paint that uh, kind of didn't look real good. And there's the next layer of joint compound. And that is it for this video. I'm going to put a link here if you want to watch the rest of the video, see how I got to this point. And the next video, I will go over the texture and the painting.